Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet for Life. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to crochet this ball applicant for this blanket. I made this ball for this blanket. It's really easy to make, even beginners can make too. I'm going to give you all detail about this ball step by step. I hope you will love it. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for this Crochet for Life channel, don't forget to join with my subscribers by clicking subscribe button and the bell icon. I'm going to use this two color, blue and a white color. This yarn is double knitting yarn. This yarn recommend nook is for this yarn ball have 100 grams, 300 meters. This yarn color is a dark blue and this is a double knitting yarn. Recommend nook is 4 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using this two color to make this ball. It's so easy to make. I'm gonna use 4 millimeter crochet hook to make this ball. I made this ball for blanket, then I'm using 4 millimeter crochet hook. If you want a small size, you can use a small size hook. Okay, let's get start. First, I'm using white color yarn to begin magic green. Into this magic green, start with the chain three. One, two, three, three chain. Into this magic green, double crochet. This first three chain I'm gonna count first double crochet. Now I have a two double crochet. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 12 double crochet, join with the third chain using by slip stitch, this is the third chain, go through this third chain and slip stitch. This is the first round. Second round is start with the chain three. One, two, three. Into this space, two double crochet. One double crochet. Another double crochet into the same space. Now I have a two double crochet into the next uh, space, two more double crochet. This first three chain I'm gonna count end of this round. Now I have a four double crochet into this each double crochet. I'm gonna make two double crochet. Now I have a four double crochet, five and six double crochet together. seven and eight double crochet together nine and ten double crochet together eleven and twelve double crochet together thirteen and fourteen double crochet together fifteen and sixteen double crochet together 17 and 18 together, 19 and 20 together, 21 and 22 double crochet together. Now I have a 22 double crochet. Into this chain space, I'm going to make 23 double crochet. This first three chain. I'm going to count 24, 23, this first three chain is the 24, join with the third chain using by slip stitch. 
now I have a second round 24 double crochet third round start with the chain 3 1 2 3 into this space 1 double crochet 1 double crochet this first 3 chain I gonna count end of this round into the next space 2 double crochet again into the next space 1 double crochet this is the fourth one into the next space 2 double crochet 5 and 6 double crochet together again into the next space 1 double crochet next one 2 this round is going 1 2 1 2 into the next space 7 double crochet 8 double crochet and 9 double crochet together 10 double crochet 11 and 12 together 13 double crochet 14 and 15 together 16 double crochet 17 and 18 double crochet together 19 double crochet 20 and 21 double crochet together 22 double crochet 23 and 24 together 25 double crochet 26 and 27 together 28 double crochet 29 and 30 double crochet together 31 double crochet 32 and 33 double crochet together now I have a 33 double crochet into the next space 34 double crochet into this chain space 35 double crochet this last three chain I'm gonna count 36 double crochet Join with the third chain using by slip stitch. Third round I have a 36 double crochet. This first three round I made with the double crochet. Round four I'm gonna make with the half double crochet. Then I'm gonna start with the chain two. One, two. Into the next space one half double crochet this two chain is i gonna count end of this round into this space one half double crochet into the second space one half double crochet into the third space two half double crochet Again into the next two space, one half double crochet. Into the third one, two half double crochet. One, two, three and four together. Again into the next two space, one half double crochet. Third, into the third one, two half double crochet. Follow this pattern all around to this round one one into the next space two two half double crochet this round is going one one two one one two i'm going to show you end of this round i hope you can get it 
Now I'm nearly finished this round. One, two together into the next two space. One half double crochet, one half double crochet. I'm gonna finish with this chain two into this chain space. One half double crochet. This two chain I'm gonna count last half double crochet. Join with the second chain using by slip stitch. Now I finish round four with the half double crochet. Let's see how many half double crochet for the round four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. With this two chain, 48. Altogether, 48 half double crochet for the fourth round. Now I finish round four. I'm gonna cut this yarn. This is the size for this ball. This one I made for blanket. If you want a small size, you can use 2.5 millimeter crochet hook with this same number of stitch. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make this dark blue part you can see this both is same size next i'm going to show you how to make this five triangle for this ball you can see here i have a five triangle i'm going to use dark blue color yarn i start with this yarn i'm going to left this much And I'm going to start in here. Magic ring. Into this magic ring, start with the chain three. One, two, three. Into this magic ring, two more double crochet. One double crochet. Two double crochet. This first three chain, I'm going to count first double crochet. Then I have a three double crochet. One, two, three. Next, I'm going to hold this three double crochet and pull this yarn. Next row, start with the chain two. One, two. Turn your work other side. Into this first double crochet, two half double crochet. one half double crochet into the same space one more half double crochet again into the next double crochet two half double crochet one two now i have a five half double crochet with this first two chain into this third chain one half double crochet Now I have all together six, one, two, three, four, five, six, six half double crochet. I'm gonna cut this yarn, pull through this loop and tie. This is the triangle. We need four more. You can see in here, I have one, two, three, four, five, five triangle. I need all together five triangle for this one ball. This all same size. One, two, three, four, and five. This is my all five triangle. Next, I'm going to show you how to make this pentagon shape for this middle. I'm using same color yarn, dark blue color yarn. 
start with the magic crane into this magic crane start with the chain two one two this first two chain is the first half double crochet next into this magic crane one double crochet second stitch is the double crochet now i have a one half double crochet second one is the double crochet third and fourth one is coming half double crochet third one is half double crochet next one is half double crochet now i have a four stitch one two three four five is coming double crochet now i have a five stitch next two is coming half double crochet six half double crochet seven half double crochet eight double crochet next two is coming half double crochet nine half double crochet ten half double crochet 11 is coming double crochet double crochet now i have a one two three four double crochet next two is coming half double crochet 12 and 13 is the half double crochet now i have a four double crochet next one is 14 double crochet sorry 14 stitches the double crochet now i have a 14 stitch i'm gonna finish with the one half double crochet this is the 15 i have a 15 stitches for this magic ring with the five double crochet Join with the second chain. This the first two chain is the first half double crochet. Join with the second chain using by slip stitch. I'm gonna cut this yarn a little bit longer. I'm using the same yarn to join this part for this circle. Now you can see. I'm using double crochet for the corner one two three four five this five double crochet is coming five corner you can see here I have a one two three four five five corner you can see in here so clearly is the first double crochet two half double crochet 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 each corner i'm using double crochet i hope you will understand this next i'm gonna add this part for this circle first i'm gonna add this pectagon shape for this middle of this circle I'm using yarn needle and I'm going to use this same yarn to add this part for this circle. I'm going to add this part for this first round. You can see this first round have a 12 double crochet. I'm going to add this part for the first round. Make sure when you add this part, you need this five corner i'm gonna add this part for middle of this circle first i pass this yarn through this circle next i'm gonna use small stitches to add this part from now please follow this video
Now I have finished adding this pentagon for this middle of circle. I am going to tie this yarn in the back side. Now you can see here I have a five corner. We are not finished yet. I am going to use, you can see in here, they so clearly you can see five corner. I am going to use the slip stitch to make this corner. I am going to show you how to make that. When I add the all parts for this circle, then I'm going to make the this five corner more nicely. Next, I'm going to add this triangle shape for this circle. This is my five triangle. This five triangle is coming into this circle. I'm going to show you in here. I hold this yarn into the back side. Into this each corner. Into this each corner. I'm going to add this five triangle. This is the second corner. Into this corner. One more. Like this. I hope you can understand. Into this corner. Next triangle into the next last corner. It's the last triangle. It's coming like this. I'm using yarn needle to join these parts for this circle. I'm going to show you how to add this part for this circle. I hold this yarn into the back side and into this corner like this. I'm using this same yarn to join this part. This I'm gonna pass this needle through this second round. This is the second round into this space. Next, I'm using small stitches to add this part. From now, follow this video. In here, I'm using one loop for this white circle and both loop for this dark color triangle. You can see I'm using one loop for this circle and one two loop for this triangle. Now I have finished adding this triangle for this circle. I am going to pass this yarn through this back side and I am going to tie this yarn in the back side. And I am going to pass this yarn through this double crochet. I am going to cut this yarn later. This is the one triangle for this ball. I'm going to show you one more triangle for how to add this ball. Next one is coming into this next corner. This is the next corner. This triangle corner is coming into this second round. This is the second round. 
you can see this five triangle is coming each corner into this corner I pass this needle through this second round I'm gonna skip three double crochet for this side from now follow this video I'm gonna use these small stitches for this triangle other old triangle Add in same way like this Now I finish adding second triangle. I'm gonna tie this yarn in the back side and hide this yarn through this double crochet. I pass this yarn through this double crochet. Now I finish two. Next one is coming into this corner. Into this corner like this. Add other three same like this two. I'm gonna show you end of this adding this five triangle for this circle. Now I finish adding this five triangle for this circle. You can see I'm adding these parts for this each corner. Now I'm gonna cut this all yarn. Next, I'm going to finish this ball with slip stitch around this middle of part. I'm using the same color yarn. You can use any size hook. I'm going to start with this corner. This is the first corner. I pull this yarn to the front side and two slip stitch one two next one is coming into this corner again into this side two slip stitch one two next one into this corner again into this side two slip stitch third one into this corner
after third slip stitch you can turn this circle a little bit toward the side and use the next side to slip stitch two slip stitch third slip stitch going to the corner Now I'm finished slip stitch. I'm gonna cut this yarn now. Sorry, slip stitch. I'm gonna cut this yarn in back side. And pull this yarn to the front side. Again go through the first slip stitch and pull this yarn to the back side like this I'm gonna tie this yarn in the back side I'm gonna cut this yarn to closer like this now I'm finished this ball you can see now have a nice finishing have a five corner you can see so clearly five corner You can see this both this looks same. I'm gonna add this ball for this my blanket. So matching blanket. This is the my finished blanket. If you like this blanket, I'll give you a link in the description down below. I'm gonna add this ball to this blanket. Especially I made this ball for this blanket. I'm using a small needle and thread to add this ball for this blanket. I'm going to show you how to add this ball for this blanket. I'm using this corner to add this ball applicant for this blanket. I'm using small stitches to add this. small stitches use the small stitches to add this ball for this blanket use the same stitch around this around this ball like this if you feel in this ball is the moving for this your blanket, you can use the pin for this ball. I'm going to show you how to add the pin for this ball. I'm going to use three pin to add this, like this side to one, and another one is this side. Then easy to add this ball for the blanket is not moving now now you can use again small stitches to add add this ball for this blanket Now I'm finished adding this ball for this blanket. You can see in this the other side. I'm gonna tie this thread in here using one knot. And I pass this through this double crochet and hide this 
tray. I'm gonna cut this yarn too close, sorry, thread too closer. Then you can get the nice finishing. When you finish adding this ball, then you can remove this pin. Now I'm finished adding this ball for this blanket. It's so nice. It's the other side. It's nice finishing. I hope you will love it. If you like a small size, you can use 2.5 mm crochet hook with the same number of vestige. Then you can add a small one for cardigan or hat. This one I made for this blanket. I hope you will love it. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you finish this product, you can share with my Facebook page. I'll give you a link in the description down below. See you again with another video.